So unfortunately, we had to cover the um, Israel-Hamas war yet again because since October 7th this year, this has been going on for over 20 days now. Unfortunately, we seem to have even more um, bad news on um, the entire thing. The Gaza Strip has gone dark in the light of um, destruction of infrastructure for, um, um, yeah, for internet, telecommunications, cellular, and landline services. So basically, all communication in and out of that area has been cut off now. Um, this, um, comes shortly before reports of, um, the, Is the Israel Defense Forces intensifying their air and ground attacks, which basically means they're going for an all-out invasion almost. The, uh, the action of severing the communications um, lines do not bode well. Usually if you want to hide, um, let's call for what it is. If you want to hide the fact that you're doing war crimes, cutting off communications probably helps, let's be honest. And considering we've already seen um, a plethora, a, 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 a great amount of proof of war crimes and criminal activity by the Israeli forces, not just by Hamas, but also by the Israeli Defense Forces, means that we will probably not see the end of this for a while. Um, that being said, the push by Israel to fragment the Palestinians' um, unification and fragment their national cause has been an absolute failure, mainly thanks to the efforts of a brave number of people bringing video evidence of these horrific actions by the Israeli government and the Israeli Defense Forces to the world's attention means that we are seeing, um, we're seeing protests and we're seeing movements around the world that are mobilizing in support of what's happening and, and in support of those that are innocent in this conflict. Because, you know, sorry to uh, burst your bubble, but there are innocents in this. And it's mainly the children and the women. Because they didn't choose to fight a war. They didn't choose to, uh, to attack. It, it's, it's heartbreaking to see families that are torn because of war. It is heartbreaking to see children dying, dead, because of airstrikes by the, by the Israeli military that have been supported and directly enabled by U.S. military technology. Let, let's make no mistake. The United States is pretty much complicit in this whole thing, if nothing else, than in um, providing the the munitions that have caused these atrocities. I do not pretend in any capacity to understand exactly what the motivations are for this. I don't pretend to understand that there is a um, a different a differentiation between, you know, Hamas's war crimes and Israel's war crimes because there isn't not really. At the end of the day, a war crime is a war crime is a war crime. And the more you try and defend it, the more you just look like a horrible person. Let's be honest. Let's be fair. Let's be real for a minute. The fact that we're seeing this happen. 
And yes, we have Israeli folks that are being killed and and massacred. Yes, mm. yes. There are bad actors on both sides, but that's the thing. Both sides, not just the one, not just Hamas, not just the insurgents, not just those that are that are forcibly kept in, a, in an open-air cage because of the efforts by a by by a minority group of, of Israeli people that want to keep their homeland, which I I don't I don't begrudge them for it. Let's be honest. Israel as a nation has been um, an idea in their heads for for centuries, an idea in their hearts. The idea of having a homeland, having a place to return to, that's all fine and good. But don't keep that homeland through atrocity. Don't keep that homeland through acts of, of, of inhumanity, let's be honest. It's ridiculous, and it's horrible, and it disgusts me. It does. The amount of people that that are online that say, "Oh well, Israel has all every right to defend itself." Yeah, we need to we need to eradicate blah blah blah. You know, I want to ask them. Okay, and then and then with the commentary by the Israeli Defense Forces, um, one of their one of their chief leaders or whatever that these Hamas people are animals and we need to deal with them accordingly um, you know I almost want to ask them have you forgotten your history have you forgotten how the Germans talked about you because I think they have I think they have I think we're forgetting history in, in favor of 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 pursuing I don't know, a, a, a God-given right, a God-given homeland. You know, I, 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 I don't know. I'm a Christian, so I can't say that I necessarily completely abandon Israel. But which Israel? God's people in Israel? Or the nation state Israel. Because I'm starting to believe, maybe rightly so, that those are two different things. And that one does not equate to the other. That's really all I have to say. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Palestine. Pray for the peace of those that are caught in the crossfire. Pray for a peaceful resolution. Pray for mercy to enter the hearts of those in power that they would stop this before we lose more lives because it's getting to the point to where we're seeing so many die needlessly and painfully for a war they didn't even want. A vocal minority started this. A vocal majority can end this. Let's be the ones that end it. Pray and urge our leaders to act. Thank you. <laughs>